Hello and welcome to the November 2024 Sky Report. My name is Vanessa and I'm going to tell you about some of the interesting things happening in our skies this month. Let's get started. First up this month, my favorite time of the year, daylight saving time ends. On Sunday, November 3rd, the clocks will be set back an hour at 2 a.m. This also means that we can start observing the night sky at an earlier hour. With that hour shift, let's take a look at what constellations we'll have in our skies this month. Looking to the south, winter constellations are making their way back into our skies, with Orion the Hunter and Taurus the Bull rising high in the sky by 10 p.m. Winter constellations have some of the brightest stars in the sky, so it makes the sky look more full in big cities. Looking southeast on November 15th at 10 p.m., we have the bright stars Betelgeuse, Sirius, Rigel, and Aldebaran. To the north, we now see Ursa Major and the asterism of the Big Dipper rising up on the east. This time of the year, it's very low on our horizon when night falls and climbs into the eastern side of the sky as the night progresses. We can see the Summer Triangle asterism setting on the west, made with the stars Altair, Vega, and Deneb. The cast of constellations from the myth of Perseus, Cassiopeia, Andromeda, Perseus, and Pegasus are all high up in the sky in the north. Just as we saw the Summer Triangle setting in the west, we can see the Winter Hexagon asterism rising in the east, made with the stars Aldebaran, Capella, Pollux, Procyon, Sirius, and Rigel. Let's take a look at the planets this month. All of the planets that are visible with the unaided eye will be observable at some point this month. In the evening sky seen here at 10 p.m. on November 15th, we have three planets, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Mars is seen here climbing in the sky from the east and will be at its highest point in the early morning hours. Jupiter is already high in the sky at this time, while Saturn is on its way to set in the west. If you're going out to go planet watching, start with Saturn because it will set between midnight and 1 a.m. Jupiter and Mars will stay visible in the sky for the entire night. The planet Venus remains the evening star throughout the month. It will be visible right after sunset on the western horizon. Here it is at 6 p.m. on November 15th in the constellation of Sagittarius. Venus will be one of the brightest objects in the night sky, second only to the moon. Catch it before it sets around 7 p.m. all month. Mercury will be above the horizon and easiest to see this month on November 15th and 16th. This is when Mercury is close to its greatest elongation, which means it will appear far from the sun in our skies here on Earth. The planet will be very low in the sky at about 4.5 degrees above the horizon, at a brightness that's similar to the star Deneb in Cygnus the Swan. So it'll be tricky to see. Get some binoculars and wait until the sun sets to try finding it. And here is the lunar calendar for the month. New moon is on the 1st. First quarter is on the 8th. Full moon is on the 15th. And the last quarter is on the 22nd. That's all I have for November. Thank you so much for joining me this month, and I'll see you again next month. Bye!